the BTS movie Learn the Stage. Now let's talk about the movie, shall we? Um I gotta say guys uh first off I wanted to say shout out to BTS for being this famous guys. BTS became like the biggest K pop act out there guys and I gotta say I never expected anything like this to happen. Now let's get on with the actual review of this movie guys. So um the movie um is really good guys. A lot of the footage is from different concerts that they went to, but it's the narrator is a, it's a very good narration of their life guys. It talks about BTS's life and their their life as a group and all of the stuff that they go to guys. And I gotta say this, um for anyone who knows about um BTS winning the Billboard Music Awards guys in the movie or the scene where BTS actually gets called for winning the um the Billboard Music Awards for top social artist guys, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it got me in tears because I, I, I it was happy tears though. Happy tears of BTS got to win something is that huge guys. The Billboard Music Awards is a huge a music award show. I never really watched it before until I heard BTS was part of it, and I'm hoping BTS will continue to win stuff at Billboard. And Win some more stuff at other award shows as well. I wouldn't mind if BTS won a Grammy, which I don't know if they won a Grammy or if they even got nominated for one yet. I haven't been paying attention to that part, but I mean, I hope they get to win a Grammy. But anyways, back to the review on the movie, guys. BTS, um, Burn the Stage movie is really, really a good movie, guys. It shows all the good parts about BTS and some of the bad parts as well. And if you've seen the movie, they actually apologize in the movie because at some some performances that they do because they do so many performances, sometimes they do make some mistakes here and there in their performances. Like maybe they say a line wrong, or maybe they 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 their dance is a little bit off, or maybe they look like they're a little bit worn out, and you know. And I just like the fact that BTS is willing to like in the movie they actually say behind stage that oh I feel so. Bad. I did this wrong, or I made an error here, or I made an error there, and it, it's it's amazing to see that BTS is humble, guys. Like, they're willing to admit it in a movie, guys, and this way, they don't really have to tell their fans they made mistakes on stage, because that's kind of bad. You tell, you, you tell all your fans at the concert, oh, sorry, I made a mistake here, but they did it in the movie, and they said that there are some times when you do make mistakes. We, we gotta just not blame them, because... You know how many concerts they gotta do? You know how much work they have to do, guys? They are probably exhausted, guys. Because, I mean, a lot of people want to see BTS in concert, guys. Heck, I, I, I bet you every single every single state in the United States and all the countries in the world want to see BTS come to their country or state. And wherever. But BTS can't go everywhere, guys. So, you know what I mean? And they get a busy schedule, guys. So, I don't blame them for making but honestly, though, I wanted to mention one thing. Um, this is besides the point of the movie, guys. But I, I would hope that BTS in the future would, instead of always going to LA for concerts, going to the same spots in the U.S., why not move on and go to different locations in the U.S. rather than going to the same location in the U.S. I mean, yes, you sold out. You sold out tickets in LA. You sold out tickets in all these other places. Why not move on and go to other states as well, guys? Because there are people in other states that want to see you in concert, guys. Like, you know, like people in Hawaii, for example. There, There's a huge army fan base in Hawaii, guys. I, I, I gotta tell you guys, like, K-pop is huge in Hawaii, guys. Like, literally, like, K-pop is really huge, guys. There are a lot of K-pop fans here in Hawaii because a lot of people are fans of anime. And nine times out of ten, couple years I've been to anime conventions. I um this anime convention that we have here in Hawaii called KawaiiCon, I realized that K pop that anime fans are nine times out of ten K pop fans. 
because they love Korean pop music. And, yeah. But, um, enough about that, guys. Enough about trying to see if BTS could ever get to Hawaii, which I know they probably won't do unless they're coming here for, for just vacation. Um, the movie talks a lot about, um, the struggles that BTS goes through, guys, and a lot of different other things, guys. And they show, like, um, some parts where they get injured. They talk about all the stuff that they do, guys, and they talk about that they actually write their own, they write their own music, guys. Um, I don't know if it's all the songs they write, but they write majority. I'm, I'm going to say majority. I'm, I'm not sure if it's majority, but I'm saying majority of the songs that they, they, they actually have are written by a member of BTS, guys. And I think that that is a lot better than most artists out there, guys, because I think most artists out there, they don't write their own lyrics nowadays. Nowadays, you can write their own lyrics, guys. Okay. Maybe they write their lyrics in the beginning just to start out, but then once they become famous, they stop writing their own lyrics and they get someone else to write their lyrics for them. Which, in my opinion, is is not that good, guys, because I feel that when the artist writes their own lyrics, the lyrics mean something to them. And when the lyrics mean something to an artist, it means a lot to the fans as well, guys. Like, the fans really take it as it means a lot to us too, guys. And that's why I think I fell in love with BTS, guys. I found, I actually found out about BTS through the song Dope in 2015, guys. And that was two years into the lifespan, guys. And I was surprised at how well BTS did, guys. BTS went, like, uh, like, I don't know, guys. Like, I found out about BTS to Keep Out Entertainment. So shout out to Keep Out Entertainment. If you guys want to um, subscribe to Cave Out Entertainment, I'll leave a link in the description below to subscribe to Cave Out Entertainment. And maybe at the end, I might put a put an end screen here where you, it'll be like a little circle thing you can click on to subscribe to your channel, guys. Also, um, if you're new here, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, and comment. And, you know, just do all the things that YouTube likes to do in the algorithms, guys. Um, yeah, um, YouTube algorithms. Anything to help out the YouTube algorithm, guys. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, guys. And yeah, um, but anyway, yeah, BTS. Um, um, the one part that I did like about the movie was the um, I would say when they were barbecuing and they were by the pool. And I noticed that in the BTS movie that they seem to eat like a lot of food that I thought were honestly banned for K-pop idols. Like, I see them eat, like, spaghetti, I eat them, I see them eat, like, rice and all that sort of stuff. And I thought most of this stuff was all banned for K-pop idols. I see them eating hot dogs with bread and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I thought that stuff was banned because, as far as I know, K-pop idols aren't allowed to eat that kind of stuff, okay? Um, the, um, as far as what I've seen on videos, I don't know if that's 100% true, but people say that certain stuff are banned for K-pop hours, and I thought those were what, some of the food that was banned for K-pop hours, but I guess, you know, I guess BTS is special, I guess. Maybe they got into a point where Big K Entertainment should say, you guys deserve it, you guys deserve to treat yourself, eat, eat hot dogs, eat spaghetti, eat whatever kind of food you want, because um, you guys work so hard for us, and you know what I mean? And fans still love you and appreciate you, and I don't think a little hot dogs or whatever is going to kill you, you know what I mean, or kill, kill your fan base, in, in a sense. But anyways, guys, um, anyways, guys, about that, um, it's quite, pretty cool, guys, and we did find out in the movie, I believe it was Jim and that mentioned it, he does a diet plan, which I'm, I mean, I'm not going to try his diet plan, maybe in the future, maybe, but as of right now, no, but he does a diet plan where, he starves himself for 18 hours out of the day, and then only eats for 6 hours out of the day. So, for a 6 hour window, he, he's able to eat whatever he wants, or I don't know, whatever he wants, but he's able to eat for 6 hours out of the day. Oh, sorry about that. It's been a long day at work, so that's why I might be a little tired here and there, but I'm still going to be awake. I'm still going to be doing this review for y'all. But yeah, um... Yes, um, has worked very hard, guys. And it was funny when, uh, I think they mentioned that Jungkook's job was to, um, like, uh, everyone does their job. And I think it was Jung, I think I mentioned that Jung, Jungkook's job was to play Overwatch. 
And I decided to crack it up laughing on me. Is that really a job just to, just to hang out and play a watch? I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I, I didn't really tell you. I kind of, I kind of took it as a joke for a second. I'm like, Jungkook, I, I believe it was Jungkook, he said. Jungkook's job was to play a watch. And he's like, you doing your job? Yeah, I'm playing a watch. I, I, I just started cracking up laughing. I mean, they all have their own their own jobs to do for the group guys, and it, it's cool, guys. And I like the fact that um, RM is the English speaking member of the group and can speak English very well because that really helps with a lot of the interviews, guys. Because everyone around the world speaks English, not that much people speak Korean. So I mean, I think to have a member that can that I think RM is pretty much like and hundred percent or like at least. As close hundred percent as possible fluent in English. So I think that is a really amazing thing to have, guys. I mean not too much people are um I mean not too much K pop idols as far as I know are well, fluent in English unless they grew up in, in in the United States. Or in Australia or a country where they speak English. But yeah, um it's always good. It's always good for a group to have an English me- English speaking member, guys. So that way, you know, when they do interviews, they can always speak in English when they're not doing Korean interviews. But yeah, other than that, guys, um, we did see some low points of BTS where they actually had some accidents and stuff where they got injured and stuff, and that also made me cry as well. I I felt bad that they were getting hurt and injured because they worked so hard. You can see them they're getting overheated and stuff because of the hard work they put into the concerts and all of their performances and stuff. And I just feel bad for them. I feel like we're kind of overworking them. But at the same time, I mean, I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm hoping that they're all right, guys. But, you know, it feels like we're, like, I feel kind of bad wanting them to come to the concert while I live because I feel like, now I feel like we're overworking them. Like, it just made me, it just made me realize that, like, doing a concert is a lot more than what I assume a concert is, you know what I mean? Like, when when you're just a fan, you just assume that concerts are easy for them. Like, you, you just fly out there, sing a couple of songs, dance a little bit, and that's it. And they're in there nine times out of ten, depending on where they're going to perform at. Usually, it's in an air-conditioned arena area, so it's going to be air-conditioned, so it's not that bad, you know what I mean? They're going to be moving on a lot. But they're gonna be air conditioned, so it shouldn't be so you shouldn't be sweating too much and all that stuff. But really, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, when I watched the movie, it really made me feel bad. It made me feel like I'm like I'm like for me just wanting to come here to Hawaii for a concert just makes me feel like I'm like I'm asking them to be overworked, and I just don't want my boys to be overworked, guys. I I'm. I don't know, it just makes me feel kind of bad about it, if you know what I mean. If you if you follow that while watching the movie, let me know in the comment section below, guys. But, yeah, I mean, that just made me feel so bad for feeling so selfish and not thinking about the boys. Um, they're, you know, they need breaks and stuff like that, too, and I, I just feel kind of bad about it. But, anyways, guys, yeah, BTS is working very hard for us, guys. Um, and in the movie, I don't know if I already mentioned this in in the review, but they mentioned in the Star 2 that there were some parts in the movie where they just finished the concert and they realized that they made some errors in the concert, guys, and they were willing to admit it on, on the movie, guys. They were willing to admit that they made some errors, and they apologized for it. They're sorry about it. And I just feel like, you know, like, <clears throat> in my opinion, this is my thought when an artist makes an error on their own at, on their own song or whatever at their concert, let's say they say a line wrong, or let's say they let's say they end up um doing the dance moves wrong or whatever. I I I feel I feel I feel that it's alright to make a few mistakes. If they make a lot of mistakes, then I know there's something wrong. But if they make a few mistakes here and there, it's not that bad. I mean, BTS makes it seem like it's kind of like almost. Oh, I mean, not, I'm not saying they're making it seem like it's in the world, but they make it seem like it's a really bad thing. But if they make a few mistakes here and there, I'm not going to complain about it because I know they do a lot of stuff for us, guys. And I know that they they, they probably are over what they work a lot, guys. So we got to give them a little break here and there. And if they make a few mistakes, 
we should not, we as army should not complain guys at least at least they're they're doing the fan service they're doing stuff for the fans guys they really they really care about the their the army they really care about their fan base guys they are fan base driven guys they they care about the fan base guys they care about us you know what i mean just like we care about them they care about us and i think that's what makes them even better too guys there are some people out there, some celebrities out there. I'm not just saying K-pop now. I'm just talking about in general. There might be some celebrities out there that you know what I mean. They they make the music. They 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 make music. They they make it for people to listen to and all that. But they don't care about their fans as much. They just wanna they just want the money. All they care about is the making the money, being famous. You know what I mean that kind of stuff. But they don't really care about the fans as much. You know what I mean. And I think those people are more disingenuous. And the one thing I do like about BTS is that if you haven't noticed a um, recurring theme in their music is that a lot of the music features, um, it talks about different issues that teenagers and different people of different ages have. You know what I mean? Problems such as bullying and a lot of different other issues. Um, there's like a lot of things going on that you talk about there. Bullying, insecurity, um, um, being in love, you know what I mean? A lot of different stuff, guys. And, I mean, BTS is just, it's just, it's just still in the beginning stages, guys. I think, um, they, they are gonna, they are gonna have a lot more things to come for them, guys. BTS is going a lot of places, guys. But the one place they're, they're not going is to the spamming, guys. They're not going to this family for a long time, and I'm hoping that, you know, to be honest, I hope that this will, that, that will never happen, but, you know, we can't, we can't always have that happen, guys. Eventually, the group's gonna have to disband at some point, but, we're just, but I'm just hoping it's not anytime soon, and I know it's not gonna be anytime soon. Because BTS, the other thing that I like about them, too, is they like each other, guys. I mean, have you ever seen, like, uh, old school movies where, like, the boy bands and stuff, and they break up because the band members fight? Well, these mem- these members, these boys, they don't fight with each other. They are, they are generally friendly with each other. They generally like each other, guys. They like each other. They love each other. They're, they're like brother. They're like brothers, man. They're like brothers. And I, I like that about them, guys. They really get along very well. They have very good chemistry together guys and I think Big Kid made uh, made the right choice on putting these boys together guys and yeah that is pretty much my review of the BTS movie guys on um, Burn the Stage if you want to hear more information about it if you want me to give you guys a lot of spoilers I'll give you um if this real hits let's say um let's say a thousand views um cause my my videos on my main um, Asian music based music usually gets about a thousand views. So if I if this video gets about a thousand views and about ten likes, I would do a, another review on this movie. Oh, with a lot more spoilers. I'll talk to. You. I tell you guys all the all the shows that they mentioned from the movie, guys. Like all the different shows that they performed that the stage that they performed that. Um. For the movie, guys, I will mention all that, and I will do a more in, well, I guess, more spoiler alert kind of review. Um, it just really gets that many views and likes and everything, guys. So please like the video, um, watch the video, subscribe for my content, guys, and help me out, um, guys. Just subscribe, like the video, comment, everything, guys. All that kind of stuff really does help with the YouTube algorithm, guys, and it gets me a lot more, um, it, it's gonna help a lot, guys, and, I mean, it really, it really is helpful, guys, so, yeah, let me, let me know, help, help me out with this in the comment section below, guys, um, leave a comment down below, um, if you're not already subscribed, join the Asian Music Base Switcher channel, become a base squad member, guys, um, membership, all you gotta do is and you are part of the fandom guys you we can join the geo club um club geo guys um she's actually like my ultimate bias brother in k-pop guys so yeah um but that's it guys come back for my videos guys um more reviews to come and everything guys and yeah that's it
Jim.